Hey everyone, Susan Harrell, media coach, marketing strategist, author of Sell Yourself Without Selling Your Soul, published by HarperCollins and CEO of PRSecrets.com, here today with a poem by Adrian Rich called Diving Into the Wreck. First, having read the book of myths and loaded the camera and checked the edge of the knife blade, I put on the body armor of black rubber, the absurd flippers, the grave and awkward mask. I am having to do this not like Cousteau with his assiduous team aboard a sun-flooded schooner, but here alone. There's a ladder. The ladder is always there, hanging innocently close to the side of the schooner. We know what it is for, we who have used it. Otherwise, it is a piece of maritime floss, some sundry equipment. I go down, rung after rung, and still the oxygen immerses me, the blue light, the clear atoms of our human air. I go down. My flippers cripple me. I crawl like an insect down the ladder, and there is no one to tell me when the ocean will begin. First, the air is blue, and then it is bluer, and then green, and then black. I am blacking out, and yet my mask is powerful. It pumps my blood with power. The sea is another story. The sea is not a question of power. I have to learn alone to turn my body without force in the deep element. And now it is easy to forget what I came for among so many who have always lived here, swaying their crenellated fans between the reefs and besides, you breathe differently down there. I came to explore the wreck. The words are purposes. The words are maps. I came to see the damage that was done and the treasures that prevail. I stroke the beam of my lamp slowly along the flank of something more permanent than fish or weed. The thing I came for, the wreck and not the story of the wreck. The thing itself, and not the myth, the drowned face always staring toward the sun, the evidence of damage worn by salt and sway into this threadbare beauty, the ribs of the disaster curving their assertion among the tentative haunters. This is the place, and I am here, the mermaid whose dark hair streams black, the mermaid in this armored body. We circle silently about the wreck. We dive into the hold. I am she. I am he whose drowned face sleeps with open eyes, whose breasts still bear the stress, whose silver copper vermeil cargo lies obscurely inside barrels half wedged and left to rot. We are the half destroyed instruments that once held to a course, the water eaten log, the fouled compass. We are, I am, you are, by cowardice or courage, the one who find our way back to the scene, carrying a knife, a camera, a book of myths in which our names do not appear. This is the first time I've read this poem. I'm not quite sure exactly what to make of it, but I really like the mysterious sort of mythological feel that it has that describing sort of diving into yourself, diving into a mystery, Really, when we tell a story, we, we're not just mythologizing ourselves in a permanent record called the media, but we're self-exploring as we tell a story and begin to find revelations about ourselves, sometimes that we didn't know. I think it's in the telling that we explore and also discover. Um, speaking out loud, not not writing on the page, but when you're in media, you have to do it in the medium in which you are going to be in. So if you're doing a TV interview, you wanna get an experience in a TV studio or a satellite studio or closest thing for it in a radio, the same thing, you know, sitting before a mic in a chair and it just, it's a totally different experience when you're in it versus sitting in your home like this, um, doing an interview, being it, doing it in situ, just like she's diving deep, not knowing what mysteries she's going to find down there and exploring these, the way that you breathe differently, the way that the, that your 
body feels different. In this new experience called media, it's going to be as if your body and self is in this new experience for the first time, if it is the first time. But it's a way of um, actually, you need to experience it to really understand what it is. It's like when you're in a TV studio and the hot lights come on and you're sitting in a little stool and you may not be even, even able to be balanced because someone like me, I'm 5'2", my feet don't touch the ground. So you're sort of sitting there precariously balanced. So you're thinking about, we've got to stay balanced. Then the hot lights are on, then there's the countdown and then and then there's the interplay and, it just, and then it's over in a flash. So those are the kinds of things that you absolutely want to practice because you don't know what it's going to feel like when you're in the dark water, when you're breathing through a mask, it, it doesn't even matter if you practice it on land because it's completely different when you're breathing underwater and you can't take the mask off. So it's the same thing in a media appearance. You can't take the mask off, right? And you want to take your mask off if you're, if you're wearing one because we really want to see who you are. But the point is, is getting the experience and feeling it in your blood and bones is completely different than imagining it or just practicing it, not in the situation that you're going to be in. So I highly recommend that you practice in the situation that you are going to be in. Hope you enjoyed this poem as much as I did. Until next time.